Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you the Chanel Summer 2013 collection and it is inspired by butterflies so there is a lot of color but today I chose to take a more editorial route and go with a neutral eye since Lisa Eldridge, Chanel's online makeup artist, has shown already in action all the colors of the new Stilo eyeshadow. So today I utilized three of them, a gold, a taupe, and a black. But I will show you how you can add color to make this look more vibrant, as well as how to pair it with the right glossy lip for the season. So first I'm going to start with my nails since I always get asked about what polish I'm wearing. Today I'm wearing 647, which is the last of the three nail polishes released in this collection that I purchased. And the reason I waited on this one is because it changes color depending on the lighting. And that's generally what happens with most nail polishes, but this tends to be a chameleon because in fluorescent lighting it looks more like a very warm orange however in most lighting it looks like a red orange so it does have a little bit more vibrancy it's more alive whereas in the sunlight bright sunlight it turns into a really soft girly pinky coral so I love this and I can't wait to wear this in the summer because when it's hot outside when you're at the beach it's going to make a gorgeous manicure so I do recommend it it just depends on how much you like the orange lean of the nail polish. Now for Bell Argus, which is number 667. This is the most popular of the three, it seems, but on me, it just runs a little too cool. If you look closely, it leans from slightly more blue to slightly more purple, and I do love that. I think Chanel does duochromes better than anyone else on the market, so I believe that if you like that shade, it will be a keeper. It does wear well, and there is invisible shimmer, so when you go outside, the metallic foil just really wakes up, and you can see how much layering goes into that one color. Now for Azura, this is 657. This is my favorite of the three. And while Lilas, the orange, is a true cream, this one is a true duochrome. So Belle Argus has a very, very slight duochrome. It's more of a foil, whereas Azura is a true duochrome because it goes from a light green to a dark blue, and it's beautiful. Sometimes it looks more sea foam, sometimes it looks more blue, and in my bathroom lighting, it looks like a dark metallic green. So I think that Azura is the most interesting of the bunch, but I think all three have been well executed, all of them apply really well and last long on the nails. And I do have to thank Sabrina of the Beauty Lookbook for pushing me over the edge and convincing me to pick this one up as well. So I really do recommend all three of the colors. There will be a little surprise involving these products at the end of the video, so please stay tuned. Now we will work our way down to the lips. I am loving this summer's lip collection just because there is no shimmer in the products that I'm wearing today and I love Shimmer Free Chanel. I think Shimmer Free Chanel is the best for sensitive dry lips if you love the Glossomere style and the Rouge Coco Shine style. My other favorite Rouge Coco Shine is Chance, but now number 467 is probably going to be my other go-to just because it is a brighter color. It's a juicy watermelon and it really perks up any, co any color complexion. It looks like this on my skin and against my face as well. Today I have it worn over hourglasses lip oil because I need a treatment for my lips since they are feeling a little bit dry and together it does tone down the color of this lipstick a little bit but that is why I used Eden which is a very similar raspberry but it's translucent so it only added a hint of color but a lot more gloss to the actual finish so that's why my lips look a lot more full than they usually do. And for those looking for comparisons the terracotta gloss from last summer's or the summer before Guerlain produced this and this is the number seven which is now discontinued but they are pretty similar so if you missed out on the terracotta then you definitely need to pick up the Eden by Chanel. And finally let's talk about the brand new Stilo eyeshadows. It's a completely waterproof water resistant formula and I can attest to how much it doesn't budge because I wore it in water. The black did smear just a little bit around the corners of my eyes because my eyes are really dry so when I use eye drops I use the brand Refresh. It's a thicker gel formula so it did kind of slide a little bit around here but Moon River and Cool Gold, the two lighter colors that I picked up are fabulous. They don't budge. Cool Gold stays really vibrant. I do have a couple gold liners but none are as shimmery as this one. And I love that even though that the base of this gold is very yellow, the shimmer in it is actually silver. I have full reviews of the actual formula on my blog, thereviewer.com. If you guys are interested in checking that out, I have most of the first impressions from the collection posted as well as pictures from the display. But today I'm going to talk to you about a discontinued product. This is the Chanel... Um, 
liquid eyeshadow formula that was discontinued about two years ago. This, and this too has a cooling effect when you apply it to the eyes. They are both water-based, so I know a lot of you were asking if this was any similar, but it's not. It's more of a sandy, slightly hint of gold color, whereas cool gold is a deep yellow base with silver shimmer, like I said. Now for Moon River. This taupe is perfect. It's super soft and shimmery, really wearable. Let me just swatch it for you right here. It has ever so slightly a hint of gray, but it looks more brown on my eyes. And it is very similar to the discontinued Rose Platine Stilo Waterproof and Stilo Ye Waterproof. And it is a more rosy version of Moon River. But if you missed out on Rose Platine, which everyone wanted but sold out really quickly, then Moon River is the one for you. And let me remind you that all of these Stilo eyeshadows are limited edition. So pick them up before they are all gone and you will regret it like all those who missed out on Rose Platine. This is one of my favorite Chanel eyeliners and if it came back again, I would buy a dozen. That's how good it is. Number seven, Moon River is my favorite Stilo eyeshadow and anyone can use this. It's a very useful product and you can also use it to highlight your inner corner as well. Now for Black Stream, which is a very popular color since it is so versatile. You can tone it down to a gray, you can blend it out, and it looks like a shimmery charcoal, or you can build up the pigment and wear it like I did as a really deep, dark base. And it's very similar to Chanel's Illusion d'Ombre in Mirafique number 85. I actually prefer this one just because it's super pigmented, a little goes a long way, but you have to use a brush with it and it's not as easy to blend out. Black Stream feels more like an eyeshadow and I used a pencil brush, just a little one, to blend out the color in my crease area here today and blend it in with Moon River and you'll see how easily Black Stream is used as an eyeshadow, whereas I tend to use my Mirafique as an eyeliner. And now that we've wrapped up the review, I can share with you my special announcement. As you can tell from the title above, this is a giveaway, so there will be an entire selection of Chanel products from this summer that you can choose from and you will be able to win. And this is a thank you from me to you. It is not sponsored by Chanel. I just wanted to thank everyone for the support over the last three years and I just wanted to let you know that I'm thinking of you. And even though it's belated, I just wanted to show you that I am very grateful to all of you who helped me reach over a hundred thousand subscribers. But this giveaway is intended specifically for all of those who love Chanel because we we all love Coco Chanel and all of us love Chanel makeup so I just figured for my special giveaway I wanted to do something that I know everyone would love to win and even I would love to win Chanel. So all you have to do is go to thereviewer.com which is my blog but just as a heads up since I know you have to go to the blog one of the requirements is that you do have to subscribe to this YouTube Ravy channel and you do need a YouTube account in order to leave me a comment down below in this video comment box section what you would like to win. So again you do have to go to thereviewer.com in order to find out all the ways that you can enter the giveaway. There are multiple ways that you can enter, but one requirement is that you must subscribe to this YouTube channel, which is the Review channel. And down below in the comments, you will leave me a comment telling me which prizes you would like to win. And you get to choose from anything in the Chanel collection that I've listed on the blog. So you have to check within the categories that I have selected for you. So they are products that I showed in the video today and they're going to be the ones that I use on my face. So please read through all the giveaway instructions completely and carefully and make sure when you leave me the comment in the comment section below that you do follow all of the instructions and you list me the correct products with their names and the colors that you would like. So best of luck to everyone and now let's get started with the tutorial. So as usual we're going to get started with the face but in order to cut down on time I have applied my base and my eyebrows which you can see on my blog so just go ahead and check out the first link below so that you can see what products I used. But now we're going to get started with bronzer and I'm going to use an older Chanel bronzer the number 907 Sable Beige and unfortunately it's discontinued but there are no bronzers for this particular Chanel collection so I wanted to show you one that Chanel has produced in the past. So now I'm just going to swirl all the colors together. I'm just going to place this around the edges of my face and I'm just going to lightly contour my cheeks out and this is just going to give me a bit of color 
but we don't want the color of the cheeks to be fighting with the eyes. I know many of you are disappointed that there were no bronzers this collection, but in fact I was a little bit relieved that there were no bronzers because there's so much to focus on on the eyes. I think it would have been too overwhelming for some to have so many eye products to choose from and then have to choose from bronzers as well. So since there have been so many bronzers released in the past, I think it was a great summer collection uh, departure to have no bronzer. And now we'll begin with the eyes. I'm just going to set down a base. Now I'm going to place a little bit of a powder highlight underneath my eyebrow. And finally we'll begin with the Moon River which is a taupe. And I'm just going to place this above my crease. And I'm going to quickly blend it down the lid and above the lid with my finger. Now I'm going to take the cool gold and it's actually a rather yellow gold like I said so I'm just going to slightly dab it into the corner of the eye and halfway across the lower lash line. Now generally when I apply color to the, the inner corner and the lower lash line like this I recommend blending it out but because the Moon River is blended out so well and it's such a light color I actually like the way the yellow pops out at you. Now I'm going to take the most pigmented of the bunch. This is Black Stream and I'm going to turn it to the side and I'm going to pull the product inward not all the way to the inner corner, getting really close to that lash line. And then with a pencil brush, I'm going to blend it out. Because these do set so quickly, you have to work fast, especially with the black one, since it is a more noticeable color. So here's the eye with just one layer blended out. I'm going to go ahead and add an additional layer, and this way you can see how intense the color really can be built up. And now that we're done blending out the black, I'm going to take a little bit more of Moon River and I'm actually going to place it on my ring finger. Then I'm just going to pat it right where the crease transitions from the taupe to the black and give it a nice gradual fade. Now I'm going to take my Jade Waterproof Eyeliner and I'm going to blend it in with the gold. Now you can just wear jade, but in the true vein of the collection, we're going to add a little bit of blue to give it that turquoisey green sheen that is the nature of the true blue pencil from the collection. Now we're going to start lining the eye and I'm just going to use a black eyeliner. So for the eyes, I went ahead and placed on my Velour False Lashes. They are the style in You Complete Me. And to finish off the eye look, I'm going to use the latest mascara from Chanel. So today I'm just going to demonstrate it on my lower lashes. And as you can see, the mascara is pretty volumizing. I really love the overall look because it's super wearable and pretty. It's not necessarily the explosion of color that Lisa Eldridge demonstrated, but it's a more wearable, everyday neutral take on these Stilo eyeshadows. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now we're going to finish up with the lips. And I'm going to begin by prepping my lips. This is Hourglass's Lip Oil. It's a treatment. And now I'm going to top the lip oil with the 467 Rouge Coco Shine. Now I did just want to mention, you will see less color when you place this Rouge Coco Shine on top of the Hourglass Lip Oil, but it is a pretty vibrant, gorgeous pink watermelon color, so I highly recommend it. And I'm also going to apply the 437, I believe this is called Eden. This is the newest Glossomere without shimmer, and I really love this color because it reminds me of the Gloss Fluos from a couple summers ago. And that completes the lips and actually the entire face. The final look is something easy to wear, it's bright, but it's still beautiful, and I highly recommend that you try this out. And of course, you can find out all the details on how to enter our celebratory, awesome Chanel giveaway on the blog, The Reviewer. Thanks so much for tuning in, everyone, and we'll see you all very soon. Bye.